I'm going to get out my little toys again and go over where you should be on defense when you're playing beach doubles. Let's say that neither one of you goes up to block. Your defense will look like this. If this player is hitting, this player is going to line up on their arm on the line. You don't want to sneak in too far and give up too much line because it's pretty easy for this player to cut back and hit that line when you're not there. So you want to start near the line and line up on their arm. This player is going to line up on the arm uh, on the angle. But be ready to move for the cut shot. This one is ready to move for the short in front. And uh, both players need to talk on the shot in the short middle. If this player decides to cheat up anticipating the cut, this player needs to stay deep. This player can't come up and cheat with her. If she decides to come up, then this player needs to hold deep. And if the hitter decides to make a high shot over this player into the corner, it's going to be this player's responsibility to run that down and play, come back and make a play on that ball behind. Okay, same thing on this side. If this player decides to cheat, thinking, oh, it looks like they're going to dink, they're going to move up and cheat, they're leaving a big hole behind, this player has to stay committed to digging that hard angle, but they also now have to be ready to dig the high over the line shot in this deep corner. So the high over the line shot has now become this player's responsibility to come and run that down. And it's the same thing on the other side, only in reverse. So if this hitter is up hitting, this player decides to cheat, thinking, oh, it looks like they're going to dink. Now this player stays here, ready to dig on that player's angle, also watching the cut. But they must also now watch the high line over their partner. So they're going to run down that high line. That's their ball now. Now if you dig from this side of the court, you're going to talk to your partner and say, this side. Your partner is now going to turn and set you on this side of the court instead of on the side you've been playing. So you want to make sure that both of you are not cheating and running up to the net together because it's really easy for a player on the other side, if they're paying attention, to shoot you over on one or two to your deep court. They'll have no problem doing that for a point. So if your partner cheats, you can't cheat. You stay back, stay home, ready for that hard dig, the driven ball, but also ready to run down the cut and to run down the high line over your partner. One thing that I can't stress enough is to wear your glasses on the beach. Wearing your glasses to protect your eyes while you're playing beach is a huge deal. You don't want to wind up like a lot of my friends who now have cataracts that they're having to remove from years of playing beach volleyball with no glasses on. I'm probably headed the same way because I spent my entire childhood and teenage years playing without them. Um, so learn this lesson from me. Don't learn it the hard way. Where are your shades? Another important thing to remember is to put sunblock on before you leave the house in the morning. It's important that the sunblock gets set into your skin before you arrive at the beach and are in the sun. You want to apply it regularly throughout your tournament because you're sweating it off, wiping sand off, and removing that sunblock throughout the day. One really important place to remember to put it is your ears. A lot of people forget to put sunblock on their ears and I have some friends who have had to have pieces of ears removed, pieces of noses removed. Um, it's really important to wear your sunblock.